Hey YouTube, this is Steve from Tower Genius. Uh, we are a consulting firm that helps property owners and their attorneys when they're uh, negotiating with a wireless carrier or with a tower developer uh, regarding a cell tower or cell site lease. So what is a cell tower, right? Um, duh, right? Everybody knows what a cell tower is. It's that ugly thing. It's that ugly vertical tower sticking up that looks like a fake tree or an upside down toilet bowl cleaner or just this monstrosity of steel that has ugly 4 and 5G antennas hanging off of it. How do they work? Well, they work. It's it's magic, really. When you come think about it. They work like magic. And, um, you know, you have one of these smartphone devices that you carry around in your pocket. Uh, these things replaced, you know, a hundred different things that you used to keep around the house. And now you can carry it in your pocket. So basically, it works like magic. You turn it on, it communicates with the tower, with the antennas. It knows exactly where you are at all times. And, uh, you know, the the phone companies and the uh, the carriers and all the all the providers there, they resell your data. It's worth a ton of money. It's extremely valuable. So just when you have a cell tower lease on your property, it's like uh, I describe like the, you know, wireless you know data and things like that. The like data being the new gold, you might have heard that. So imagine uh, you have the data super highway, right? So a cell tower is like the highway entrance or exit ramp, right? That you get on and off that highway. So if you have one of these towers on your property, uh, it's like owning maybe the on-ramp, on off-ramp, or one of the toll plazas to get onto that highway where the data, the voice and data flows, right? But it's even more than that, again, because your data is resold, you know, a thousand different ways uh, by, you know, providers of these apps and things like that. So it's just, it's, and I've had a little little insight into this in the last two years. It's extremely valuable, right? So as a cell tower landlord, you want to make sure that when you're getting these leases signed, that they're structured properly, right? To protect your property rights and make sure that you're not leaving money on the table. Now, obviously you're not going to get the type of deal that an owner of a portfolio of these towers would have. And, you know, you're not the tower owner. If you are the building owner and they locate off the top of your uh, rooftop, if they put a cell site up there, uh, that's a little different. You, know, you usually get a better deal. But cell towers, they um, they operate and typically um, they they can range in height, you know, anywhere from, you know, 10 feet. You know, these little tiny, tiny lollipop sites, you see them on hilltops, mountaintops, things like that where they can be, you know, 300 feet tall and a you know, big uh, guide wire tower. So here, I just want to show you a few uh, examples on our website, and I'm just going to switch off to that here right now. All right, so, um, you know, what is a cell tower? I was a little joking about the magic part, of course. So let me just read here, and uh, the reason I read these, again, I, this is a website that uh, towergenius.com. I read these because a lot of people you know, they're, they're in their car or whatever, and, and they'd rather listen to, uh, to this content than, you know, they have time to read it. So I, I totally get that. So what's a cell tower? How do cell towers work? So cell tower is the core vertical infrastructure utilized to operate mobile communication networks. Can you imagine where we'd be today without cell towers? Cell tower infrastructure enables us to be connected globally via a device that fits into our pockets, which replace dozens of other devices and tools that were commonplace household items until the emergence of the iPhone around 2007. Cell towers are everywhere. In the United States, 70% or approximately 400,000 calls are made on a daily basis to 911 on a cell phone. While cell towers are often demonized, there is no denying that they save lives by the sheer numbers of emergency calls made. Mobile devices are used on over half of all internet searches, again, made possible by cell towers that connect mobile devices to wireless communication networks. As much as smartphone was revolutionary, without cell towers, it would be a mere paperweight. The cell tower connects cellular network subscribers like Verizon Wireless, T-Mobile, AT&T, et cetera, customers to their wireless communication networks, allowing devices and people to transmit and receive voice and data communications. So what's a cell tower? A cell tower is more commonly referred to as a cell site in the wireless industry. And this is where uh, a rooftop cell site with antennas is a cell site, but it's not a tower. So there's a difference. Every 
every cell tower is a cell site, but not every cell site is a cell tower, if that makes sense. Cell towers connect to wireless networks via fiber optic um, cables in the ground or by microwave backhaul in the air. And you can actually see on this image down here, there's this big microwave dish on the tower. It's probably the size of a Volkswagen uh, bug and that's what they use to connect in the air. Cell towers are deployed in the grid to provide coverage to a region or a cell. That's where that word comes from. Cell towers come in all shapes and sizes. They can be 10 foot tall lollipop sites, 30 foot tall towers, 60 foot monopoles, single pole, 200 foot lattice towers. Lattice towers have three at three legs. They can be a 300 foot guide wire tower. They have the uh, the three you know cables anchored in the ground. Um, Towers that are in structures in the United States that are taller than 200 feet have to be eliminated in the dark, according to the Federal Aviation Administration. So here's a, a cell tower, former client of ours um, out, out west. Um, this is a lattice tower. It's got three legs and it's got multiple carriers. So this is actually a two carrier site. There's there's equipment on both sides of the tower. Um, the antenna arrays are separated here. They're separated by approximately um, 20 feet per per, uh, per, per per carrier here. So um, how do cell towers work? Well, cell towers work by communicating with cell phones within their cell or coverage ring. Antennas mounted to the tower receive signals uh, from phone devices that relay them in a fraction of a millisecond to the carrier's core network infrastructure where that data is processed, sent out to its destination. They also receive data uh, uh, from the AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile networks, and they hand them off in a fraction of a millisecond uh, to uh, to phone devices. So it's it really is like magic when you when you look at it. How amazing! You know, you can you can be over in Europe and make a cell phone call, or be talking to someone in China on a cell phone, and it's seamless. So. Cell towers communicate with mobile devices via RF signal, that's radio frequency signals. When a call is made or a text message is sent or internet is accessed on a wireless device, the device sends RF signals to the closest cellular tower. These RF signals contain electromagnetic waves with encoded information that is captured by the antenna on the tower and processed by carrier's core network uh, with the handoffs occurring at these incredibly high speeds. So this is a, a image here of a monopole in New Jersey. This was a T-Mobile and AT&T monopole uh, owned by Crown Castle. And you can see everything is flush mounted there to the building. Who owns and operates cell towers and who are the USA's top cell tower companies? Glad you asked. Well, um, there are over 450,000 cell sites in the US. Again, so not every, every, towers, uh, every tower is a cell site, but not every cell site is a tower because a lot of these are small cells or antenna sites on the rooftops, um, including rooftop cellular sites, uh, small cell telecom towers, um, DAS distributed antenna system networks. Uh, there's approximately 135,000 actual cell phone towers, of which 100,000, close to 80% of those towers are owned and operated by the big three, big four tower management companies American Tower, Crown Castle, SBA, and Vertical Bridge. And the rest of them, uh, about another 120 companies own the other, whatever, 30,000 or so towers. Um, here you can see this beautiful little graph here, um, infographic. American Tower has got 30, almost 32% market share. Crown Castle is close to 30% market share. SBA has about 12.5% market share. Vertical Bridge still, uh, you know, um, a major player, um, just under 4% market share, and the rest, 22 and some odd percent, uh, 23, 22, yeah, 22 uh, three quarters percent. It's about another 120 tower companies that that share in that. Um, and here's just a few examples of, of some towers here. This is a uh, stealth flagpole. So here um, you have equipment on the ground, and then you have um, you have an enclosed antennas at the top. This is an SBA tower, SBA communications. And uh, this is in Morris County, New Jersey. In the middle here, we have, um, they have these uh, electrical transmission towers. Uh, they also call these like a Fort Worth Mount where they have the tower running in the middle of the, uh, between the legs of, of the uh, transmission tower, they have the pole and they stick the, uh, the antennas there at the top. 
to the right of that here, this is a crown castle um, monopole down here where I'm in uh, the area of Pensacola, Florida. And um, next here, it's kind of hard to see. This is a guide tower right here. You have you have uh, guy wires coming down here. Anyway, they, they hold up the tower. You see them uh, quite often out in the middle of a cornfield or something. This one here in the middle is a bell tower in a cemetery, uh, made to blend in there. But uh, yeah, you have you have uh, you have antennas in the top of that bell tower. And then this image here is a bunch of towers, there's a couple of communication towers with whip antennas. And there's one, two, three, four towers here. Um, Verizon's up here and um, a few other uh, carriers. This is up on the top of a mountain in Idaho. And yes, I, I did drive up there. Um, so essentially, um, I could keep reading on here, but if you go to towergenius.com, you can find all this information. Uh, we also talk about the future viability of cell towers and what changes that we see coming in the industry. Uh, we also have a free download here. You can download our ebook, and it's it's a, how to avoid common mistakes that landlords make when they're negotiating cell tower leases. So again, my name is Steve Casella. Please visit towergenius.com. If you have questions about a cell tower lease agreement, give us a call at 888-313-9750. You can fill out a contact form uh, on this page, and uh, we're happy to answer any questions that you have about a cell tower lease agreement. Thanks again.